up? UFC 300 preview. We were supposed to have Logan Paul and Mike Malak on the pod today. So last Sunday with Tim and I, the Timbo Sugar Show, we didn't even talk about UFC 300 because we were waiting to save it for Logan and Mike. But they canceled. They're peace. No, they got busy. They were on a jet. They got to go here. Logan's at the WrestleMania. Mike Malak's eating cheeseburgers. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Solo we're here clips. with the boy, Schmitty. So we're going to run through UFC 300. And we're just going to start off with the first fight of the night. Cody Damn, Garbrandt right versus Davison Figueredo. Uh, you know what? I got a question. I want to think. You know, this fight's going to be at what What time does he start? 3 p.m. This fight's going to be at 3 p.m. I was watching the Embedded, and Cody said, it just shows you how much pull I've got and how many fans I've got for them to put me on the first fight of the card. I'm like, holy fuck, does this guy have CTE? That is not <laughs> where you want to be to pull people in. Opening the prelims. But with that being said, I am curious how excited people are for UFC 300, how legendary it's going to be. 3 p.m. is early. Main card starts at 7 3 p.m. is early. Are there going to be fans in the stands? There's always a certain amount. There's always the you know the hardcores. I'm curious because Cody is a, is somewhat of a star. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just giving him shit. But Davis and Cody is a is a banger. That could have been a fight night main event. 100. percent That could be on yeah. you know anywhere on the card besides the main event on a pay per view. But that's a big fight. Do you guys think there's gonna be people in the stands? Well, you know it's gonna be a fun- party in vegas for 300 so it depends is everyone gonna be partying and fucking doing shit i have a feeling though oh god there's a fucking jet sorry <laughs> sorry sorry you fam. i'll make a call real quick hold up yeah call him hmm. watch me tell us Stand uh up. i believe since it's such a historical event and the whole card is so exciting i believe butts will be in the seats for the for the first fights a, lot, a good majority more th- obviously so you're more than more than usual more for than a, usual which i would hope so yeah but how packed like still not mm-hmm. as packed as it gets when it comes to main fight card okay i yeah. think it's still gonna be the same as always that really? would be yeah be huge same as always. early bro that's what i'm saying i know but dude it's historical this is bro th- i'm In surprised Vegas. you wanted to get into this so fast because dude ufc 300 jopens this is historical uh i was looking back at the cards and it's like this is honestly between 100, 200, 300, this is the most exciting one. Well, I feel like everyone, is, it's just recency bias. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's always going to be like this. It's the one. I don't know, dude. That 200, I remember uh, being I a little disappointed with 200. You it were was, disappointed for 300. I was at first, but now that we got this card, I'm, I'm actually really excited. Well, let's just go in a row. Fuck Cody versus Figueredo. What do you think? I, uh, is Cody question. gonna be too fast for Figueredo, or is Figueredo gonna be too much in Cody's face? Have him up against the cage. I have a feeling it's gonna be decision, Figueredo. Bro, I really? want. I want Cody to win, but I think Fig- Figgy's just gonna be too fast. You think Figgy's gonna Figgy's be the one? Up to twenty-five from twenty-five. Yeah, but he's already had a fight at thirty-five. He did. He beat Rob Font. Yeah. And uh, he looked good. Cody still got that speed, dude. He I does. was rewatching that fight with uh, since Rafael and dude, whoosh, a pop. that was so quick. <laughs> Cody's coming good. off two wins. Trevin Jones, one of the most boring fights in UFC history, supposedly. I'm not saying that. No, it was. What I heard. It was. And then he's coming off of Brian Kelleher, a win over Brian Kelleher, a KO. So he's got that little bit more confidence. It is Brian Kelleher, so I don't know how much confidence to give you knocking him out. Yeah. But I mean, it probably feels good to get on the, you know, Rob, uh, Rob Font beat the fuck out of Cody. Yeah. Figueredo. He did. I did forgot beat, about he, that. He beat him. Um, so that's, that's interesting. I got a feeling Figueredo's going to be strong, and I feel like he's going to be the uh, more pressure of the fighter. It's The thing is, three-round Figgy is dangerous. Three round when he does those dangerous. five rounds, you know, he's him and Brandon Moreno had those wars, so three rounds of him not getting gas. I feel like, didn't Kai Car France really hurt Cody when he'd throw a leg kick and he'd kind of, would just sit on punches, boom, boom, boom. I kind of have a vision of Cody trying to sit on some leg kicks and Figueredo just exploding into some into some shots. But, that I mean, that's an, if Figueredo mm. wins that fight, then he's 2-0 at bantamweight. That's an interesting, you know, he, that puts him up there in the title <coughs> yeah. contention. I might skip Brav, fight Figueredo. <laughs> uh, let's rip it. So, I, so you got, who are you thinking? I forgot, sorry. Who was who, your official? For bantamweight? I'm going no. Figueredo. Hold yeah, yeah, for that fight. Who, I'm going Figueredo. Figgy by KO, though. I kind of Sish. feel like Figueredo might get the job done, too, but it's just, you know, you can't count Cody out. Really can't. He's uh, He's got bombs in his hands. Bobby Blue Green versus Jim Miller. 37 and 17, Jim Miller, against Bobby Green, 31 and 15. Jesus, yep. bro, a, that is insane. And Jim Miller for being on 100, 200, 300. Yeah. That's incredible. That's and There's if you a, actually look at the photos of him, it's like, damn. Dude, he was a young kid yeah. when he first started in the UFC. 
and he has just stayed in there. There's really not ever been anyone like Jim Miller. The consistency, durability, uh, even though he never got the belt, he hung in there. I can't imagine being like that. I knew I know Bruce won't do it, but it would be sick if he did the Jim Bing Miller. Cool. I know he said he wanted that on Twitter, and Bruce said no, Bruce Buffer. But what if he oh, paused dude. to let the crowd to be like, F "Why can't? Why can't? Why can't he?" And he just oh, said he would. Maybe. Joe, but if you want to win some money today, you listen to the Schmitty during this pod. I don't know about these two. We'll Buddy. see. TBD on the rest of the card. So who you got? I got Jim Miller, no and I way. think he's going to submit Bobby Green, and I think it's within the first or second round. No way. Interesting. Well, you see, you got BBG. Bobby Green, first round KO, and doing that slick boxing shit he does. Dude, he's he too does. fast. He, Bobby he's, Green is has sick stand up, sick strike, and he's quick as fuck. He's accurate. He's experienced. Jim Miller is too. God, I, that's an interesting uh, prediction for me there, Schmidt. I, I yep. do think Bobby Green gets the job done as well. Really? But, uh, Bro. Yeah, I don't know. One of us are going to eat our words. We sure are, man. Speaking yep. of Incredible. eating stuff. How you, how you, no, do I look pungent? <laughs> I know I look no, pungent. I wasn't going to say that. I Jobins, gonna... I've been off the grind. I've, I've got to get back in. Mentally, I was down, but fuck, do I feel it? Get back in the grind. Jessica Andrade, moving on. I think Bobby's going to get down. Jessica Andrade, only if you guys uh, want to look Tim's at it, X. versus Marina Rodriguez. I'm not super familiar with uh, Marina, Jessica Andrade. I know she's short and throws bombs. Um... I, I don't really have much. I don't know. Super I'm excited for this fight. Chill. Who do you got? Who do you got? You got I got Jessica no. Andras just because her OnlyFans is pretty. You know, that's crazy. Cute. What about you? Guys, this is a fun, exciting fight. I think this is going to be a striking match. You got Marina Rodriguez, uh, taller, longer fighter. I think she's. And you got she's Jessica Andras. I know, I know, but you got Jessica Andras who's just How coming up. <laughs> 32. Okay. Hey, man. So it don't. Everybody's different with age. I'm going to take Marina. That's what I'm... I'm taking Marina. She's going to stand out in the pocket and dink, dink, mm. dot her up. That's Gosh. what I'm thinking. But if Jessica Andrade can get in on the inside, this is a hard bet for right. me, Jobin. Scissor her or what? Yeah, if she can get in the inside and scissor land a kick, shot. Scissor kick, uh, scissor sweep. Jessica Andrade I don't has that any, power. I don't, she has the power to put girls' lights out. She's a dog. Jessica Andrade is a dog. So, what? What? so I, but I I'm going Marina Rodriguez by decision. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't mean any disrespect by it, but... You can't bet against a girl that looks more butch, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to butch? say that. Butch? That's not bad. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> but seriously, that's a hard thing to bet against, bro. Jessica looks mean. I'd be scared if she walked by me in the street. like. She's this tall. And probably has a huge strap on it. Okay, that's going too far. Okay, I'll chill. <laughs> oh, so you guys... You I guys got her winning, dude. That girl's a mean bitch. Ah, uh, yeah. So you think KO? KO. She very oh, yeah. well good. Jalen Turner versus Hanato Moicano. I like this Money fight. Moicano. Very excited Money for this fight, Moicano. actually. This is early prelim still. I know. Guys. Yeah. It's a really good event. Really this good is event. crazy. Jalen Turner is fucking good, bro. I, I know, know. But, hey, uh, Moicano's tough, dude. He's a guy that's durable. But when, he, and when, he fought, when he fought Jose Aldo, that was when I was first time I really watched him. I was like, oh, shit, this motherfucker's good. Huh? Like, skilled jiu-jitsu, skilled boxing, skilled as fuck. That is a badass fight at lightweight. Jalen Turner is so much bigger, though, than yeah. this guy. So it's going to be very interesting of what um, O'Connell can deal with with that. I think Jalen Turner is going to get a submission win. Really? Yeah, again. No. First, second round. Joe Grabs his neck. What do you think? I, th so? I think Jalen Turner is going to win, but it's – remember he fought Matisse Gamrot? Yeah. Dude, coming off – he out – I thought he won. That was a robbery too. decision. Gamrot's so, like, so hmm. fucking tough. If he did that to Gamrot, Moicano's good, but – I know MMA math never works, I, but Jalen Turner's just so fucking tall for that division. Yeah, that's going to be a sick fight. All right, moving Next. to the featherweight division. Sadiq Youssef versus Diego Lopez. I remember when Diego Lopez made his UFC debut. It was like a super short notice fight against some tough fucking Russian. And uh, I, I was live for that. He, I was like, damn, this motherfucker about to dumb. Yeah. Um, so that dog. dude's fucking skilled, always in a war. Cool haircut versus Sadiq Youssef. <laughs> um, explosive. Both in their prime, 30, 29. Uh, Sadiq had that good war with uh, Barboza. I, I'm, I'm, I'm this one's super tough. familiar with Sadiq. Like, I don't really remember watching any of his fights. Uh, he's got power. Me. He's fast. Uh, again, durable. Both these guys are durable. Yeah. I'm thinking Sadiq Yusuf. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 13-3 mm -hmm. versus 23-6. and six. Diego Lopez. Who yeah, you? I got Diego Lopez. I'm going to ride the hype train right now. He's young, fresh, got a lot of confidence. 
I'm gonna take Diego too. I'm just not super. I know. I'm I think to Sadiq sub. could be a little Real too sub. much. I think that's just gonna be the. I think we're gonna see a scrap between them boys. That's but my think. favorite fight of the night. Next Kale, fight. Yeah, Holly Holm oh versus God. Kayla Harrison at bantamweight. First of all, do you think she makes no, bantamweight? No, no, she doesn't. Do you think she, she misses doesn't. weight? She I wonder doesn't. what the over under on that is. And what's uh, Holly Holm said? She's not gonna fight her if she misses weight. So that's why I'm like, do we even? Is that this fight going to happen? That yeah. fight very I think well. it happens, guys. Kayla Harrison's debut for the UFC for UFC 135, 300. brother? Dude, UFC Bro. 300 against Holly Holm. You can't get much better her, of a her fucking Wikipedia debut. Wikipedia says she weighs, her, her fight weight's 155. She's I believe never in you, Kayla Harrison. I don't think. Let's go. I saw She's her in Miami. You. I know, dude. I, this is a tough fight. And Holly Holm. Yeah. Bro, you're telling me she makes no. 135. No, bro. Look at 42 that. 42 She's bigger than old. Sean, bro. Bro, she's <laughs> way bigger than me. She'd fuck me up. Were you watching UFC when she had kicked Ronda? Or yeah. No? Was I think I was. I was at time? my buddy Frank's house. I remember that. In, it was in fucking Australia. Or no. Yeah, it was Australia, right? Yeah. I remember Fight Week being like, damn, Ronda's acting real extra, and Holly ain't really done nothing to be all acting extra about. I had a feeling Holly. Bro, Holmes. Kayla Harrison is a big girl. I don't know if she. I makes know. I don't think she she's does. She's sixteen bro. and one in MMA. What's tough is you got. This is what's tough about this fight. You got Holly coming Holmes. off a loss. Ages, oh. ages here. Kayla is. Oh yeah. In the, the PFL. Yeah, yeah. All right, Shmita, say it. Are we doing a fucking pod about this shit? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We just are. Kidding, we were talking about when it. We, you are, when me and Sonor are talking, you start talking. My bad. You have ear surgery problems. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. So you talk. What do you think? Holly Holm, Kayla Harrison. Holly's a little bit older. Yeah. Forty-two. Yeah. But she's experienced. She's got the UFC experience. She's fucking stays focused and pressure in the whole time. Yep. It just depends if uh, Kayla Harrison can step up to the plate. Sorry. Yeah, three round fight too. Kayla, she I mean she's sixteen and one. She's been competing her entire life. I don't know if pressure will really get to her. Everyone's so much different and very good. Holly Holm's fifteen and six. Mm. Um, so I mean she's really good at throwing a punch and then getting away. Throwing a punch and kinda of getting away. It's gonna be a big cage. Kayla's gonna you know, try to take her down. It's going to be an interesting fight, actually, um, if it happens. I, I'm st- I don't know if Kayla can make 135. They might, I feel like we could see a, mo- uh, a, a time where she's – where they say, oh, they made her quit cutting weight. It was too much, like a Hamzat situation. Yeah. That bad. But it is in Vegas. That, that Dude, was, she's big. She see, I don't know. I've never seen her in person. But I, the picture, I just saw her arm is twice the size of my head. So, yeah. I don't Would you that. do that, Sean? What? Would you sign up for a big event knowing that you probably aren't going to make the weight? Well, I don't think she doesn't think she's going to. I'd be curious what, what her weight. You know what it is tricky for girls? When they have their period that same same week. That is oh, like a, a, something we can't oh, even. Bro. And, and none of them complain about it. I never hear girls saying like, oh, it's on my period. Bro, that would be when Danny's on her That's period. Fun. I'm like, okay. I can't imagine. Like, Maybe that brings a little compete. dog out on that and do a weight cut and i think they hold water oh, yeah. it's like girls are badass yeah fucking doing that they, and they never complain about that i'd be complaining on my eye so who you got call it home i got kayla harrison by who decision got? i got kayla harrison hopefully saving us from another and like i said no disrespect saving us from another holly home main event 2024 you never know Watched what if i think holly home wins a boring decision what if it's a good kickboxing fight striking kickboxing very well could be That'd be uh, sick. Yeah, it would be. Calvin Cater versus Aljamain Sterling. Uh, um, let's just look at their last fights just for fun. Calvin, <laughs> who did Aljo fight the last fuck again? Are you laughing at? I'm I looking forgot. at Calvin Cater's. Calvin Cater's last fight. Oh, shit, he's on a two fight losing streak. Lost mm-hmm. to Josh Emmett, who's a fucking beast. Lost to Arnold Allen, who's a fucking dog. Dog. Um, <laughs> he got TKO'd, knee injury. Okay. So he's coming off a knee injury, huh? October 2022. So it's been a while since he's fought. Before that, he fought Giga one. So he's three and one, or one and three in his last four. Mm. But he beat Dan Ige, which is impressive. Beat Jeremy Stevens, very impressive. Beat Ricardo Ramo, uh, Ramos, impressive. He's got a pretty fucking crazy uh, little resume going. But uh, Calvin Cater, 145. Aljamain Sterling's uh, 45 pound debut. Who'd he fight last? Let me look that up on Sherdog real quick. Mm. I think someone fucking stupid. That's for sure. Says so, here it, it was a round big two TKO to Sugar. Ah, Shana. yeah, that ah. one. I remember that. But I before that, that, he beat Henry Cejudo. Before that, he beat TJ Dillashaw. Before that, he beat Peter Yan. Before that, he beat Peter Yan. Before that, he beat Corey Sandhagen. Yep. Pedro Munoz, Jimmy Rivera, Cody Stamen, Brett Jones, Jones, Hanato Barar, or Henan Barar, Brow. Uh, fucking. What a resume. 
Seriously. So whoever knocked him out must be fucking good as hell. I'm interested in this fight, but I'm I've watched a lot of Aljo's build up just cuz ever since you fought him, I've watched a lot uh-huh. of his YouTube and I'm I don't know if he's just saying it for the YouTube, but he's like I want to make this look like Max Holloway. I mean, yeah, that just sounds a little silly. He just doesn't have that kind of a skill set to be able to go in there and just do that all of a sudden, right. act like Max Holloway and in box like that. It's just not he, bro, his he needs to go in there, fucking, and he might be, just be saying that. Saying it, he needs to go yeah. in there, grab his fucking leg, get a hold of him, get a body lock, do something. Calvin's thirty six. Yeah, Aljo's thirty four. So they're both. I mean, thirty four still, I would consider your prime. Thirty six. Let's say you're getting a little, little, a uh, little bit older. I'm fucking pumped for that fight. I'm excited to see Aljo at one forty five. I've never had an issue with Aljo actually. No. I always liked him, and you know, I wish the best for him. So, I, I but I do like Calvin. I, I it's a winnable fight for both those guys. I, I think it, it, we're gonna see early who who implements their game plan. Um, if Aljo is able to get a hold of him, but dude, Calvin's gonna be hard to take down. I feel like yeah, I feel like he's gonna box really well, and, and just be hard to take down. So fuck, I might have to go with. But that uh, makes you know. think. What if he does take him down and Aljo at forty five with that strength, bro? Like, Aljo gets a hold of him. It's gonna be. It could be a. He could very well take his back. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, backpack time. I still feel like Calvin might win a decision. What do you think, Schmidt? Do you think Aljo has accepted the defeat to you, meant like personally and mentally, in his life? Uh, I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a I kind of feel like he finally has, just in the kind of the recent shit I've heard and seen from him. So. I like Al Joe. I'm excited for him. I, I think he's going to be strong. Yeah. 145? And, yeah. Wow. And I think he'll be pretty big. Yeah. So. I, think he's gonna be, I feel like he's going to be just as big as Calvin. Like he's not going to be out. No. And yeah. that's why I know a lot of people just hate on you because here you are, this funny, skinny kid, Cute, knocking hot, people out, rich. living a lifestyle, <laughs> making good money. In a great sport, money. great money, than Thank a you. sport where it's really hard to do. So you got to really put in a lot of effort and a lot of things. So I get why, like, the stigmatism of it. But, bro, you got to get your respect because Aljo is a dog. Yeah. And you went out there, stuffed his game plan, and knocked him out. He got frustrated. Yeah. Blitzed him. And I'm tired of people, like, a lot of people dog on Cheeto. Cheeto is the number six in the top ten of one of the most on-fire weight classes I'm gonna stop in the there. world. stop right there. Fuck Cheeto. Aljo yeah. versus Calvin, who yeah. you got? Sorry. Cheeto Sorry. Was no, I was just, I know, but you, I was giving your flowers. I appreciate that. Because, like, a lot of people, I just, that's why, I like, a lot of people are talking shit on Aljo and kind of, like, I'm excited for Aljo. I hope he gets this win. Yeah, it, it'll be, I mean, it'll be a huge win. Puts him possible ki- title. I mean, puts I, him right up there with the title. Probably one more fight. He could have a good little run at 45, bro. Imagine he goes out there and fought Ely and grabbed a whole, fuck, Ely might kill him, actually. I yeah, think I don't know about that matchup. I don't know. We'll see. I think Aljo could have a run. What about what if Aljo wins this? Aljo versus Alexander Volkanovsky. Be fun. That would be sweet. It'd be fun. Um. So who 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 are you fucking officially picking? I'm thinking Aljamain Sterling. I'm getting. I'm throwing out another submission. Damn, I know it's crazy, but okay. I may be. I like that. Aljo by decision for me. I'm taking Calvin by decision. Nice. Uh. And then we go to the prelims main car, uh, main event. Yuri Prohashovich versus Alexander Rakic. That Rakic. Do you guys see that video of him hitting mitts? No, I haven't. Holy fuck, he looks huge and fast and just terrifying. His leg bro. kicks are crazy, bro. I'm I'm pick I'm gonna go ahead and just say I'm picking rack kick by KO. I can't bet against Yuri. Yuri just got knocked out by uh Alex Pereira, Pereira right? yeah. yeah. I'm but taking rack kick. I don't even know dude, if it's Pereira. It was kind of an early call. No. He was a little mounted. Bit. He got dropped and then was mounted. Was still there. But Alex I guess no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just hard hitting motherfuckers we've ever seen. What? Alex Perez is one of the hardest hitting dudes ever, and Yuri was coming in there like a fucking samurai warrior, mm-hmm. just trying to fucking put the pressure and kill this dude. Maybe not the smartest game plan that he should have had against Pereira. Yeah. So it's interesting. Is he gonna have a little different strategic game plan? Yeah, I don't know, buddy. That so who so who we got officially? I was feeling I was feeling Yuri. I know Brackdick's oh. big. This was a tough one, but I'm going uh, Yuri. I can't bet against Yuri. That dude said he spent like three days in silence meditating. That is crazy, bro. The opposite the of the silence. Fight. The silence. Boo. Bo Nickel. Moving on to the main card. UFC 300. Cue the music. The fucking 300 music. Dun, dun, ba, dun, 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 dun. Bo Nickel five and over. Cody Brundage ten and five. Mm. Um, they're obviously. I mean, it's no secret. They're building Cody. They're. I mean, uh, they're building fucking uh, Bo, trying yep. to just you know get him some good wins, get him some good highlights. They're doing what they do. Uh, this guy's coming off two wins. Before that, he was coming off a. So he's three and two in his last five. Um, yeah, does Cody twenty nine years the party? old? 
I don't think so. <sighs> I don't think so either. Da- what the fuck? Bo got a 76 inch reach. Really? Okay, I didn't know that. That's pretty crazy. Uh, six foot one, 185. I always, uh, yeah. I'm curious. I think Bo Nickel's is gonna smoke this. He, yeah, first round. He's Every- just, not even because that guy's not good, but because Bo's. I, I do think Bo's that good. Next level, yeah. Does he get a ranking after this? You no, think hell no. No. Well, I don't want to say hell no. He very well could. What do you think, Schmidt? I think Bo Nickel. Easy. First well, round? dude, there's always those guys that you, we count them out. They're supposed to get beat by these kind of superstars, and they come in and fucking shock the world. But I don't know. I think Bo Nickel's got it. I, I'm saying Bo Nickel first round finish. Yeah, same. I'll, I'll say second round finish. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go Bo Nickel second round. Finish. I'm interested on your next pick for this fight. First round. Charles TKO. first round TKO. Yeah. Charles round. Oliveira versus Armin Tersukian, twenty one and three versus Charles thirty four and nine. Dude, Armin is a is the dark horse. He's the dude. He fought Islam on short notice mm-hmm. and damn near beat Islam. Yep. And uh, who else did he lose to? Oh, he's coming off. Oh no, wait. dude's only twenty seven too. He beat. He is just he beat really? Benil Darius. Yeah. Oh yeah, he just he just knocked out Benil before that. Joaquim Silva, Demir. So he's been fighting some Russians. He lost to Gamrot in that crazy ass five round scramble, yep. which is insane. Uh, then he lost to Islam before that. And then uh, he lost early in his career, 2015. I really um, hope Charles doesn't lose, but <sighs> it'll be. It makes it interesting if this Armin wins. I mean, that makes it interesting for That's you know got. Islam. You got Armin. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Armin Guillotine? <laughs> I think decision. I it'd be crazy if it'd be. I'd be like, damn, Charles just got submitted again. Fuck. <sighs> that would be crazy. Yeah. Fuck, I can't I, bet against Du Bronx, bro. I know Dubronk's it is hard. Du Bronx, one of my fave. The three fighters. rounds is sub. interesting. It is interesting. Three rounds is, but you got him. Triangle. Arbit. You think? Oof. He's trying to pass guard. Gets a little overzealous. Can Charles Dink. survive? Can Charles shock the world and submit him? God, three again. Another fight that could be five rounds. This is three rounds. Changes it. Charles does come out there aggressive as fuck, looking for a knockout. So I'm, I'm thinking think it's Charles hurt. could win the first two rounds, or Charles go out there win the first round, kind of gas and armor. Picks it up at the second, third. God, I don't know. I hate picking these fights. How bro. many I don't knows are we gonna get? I know. From I want to see the weight Shut cut the fuck too. Up. Like see? Charles' weight cut. Sounds like, like Warlike would say. And his weight cuts. Um, Armin's five six. It's pretty short for lightweight. Charles is five eight. No, he's not. No shot, right? Charles is probably five. Charles gotta be taller than me. Bro, that might be a t- the type. Five of. eight. What the? So the truth comes out. <laughs> Buddy, I'm 6'2". Uh, Charles 34. Armin, like you said, is 27. That's pretty crazy. Young buck. Young. So I'm going to pick. I'm going to. Uh, I hate My heart says Charles. Uh, Charles. My brain says Armin. I'm going to go with Armin. Can. I know. What? I think Against Armin's going to get the job done. He's just on a fucking tear right now. He's hungry. Charles has been there, done that. Armin wants it. Do I need I him to have the power of God going into this fight. Like he's Shoot had a couple. A prayer. Yeah. I will. I will. I got him. All right. Then we move on to the first title fight. To the main event of the evening, the no, most exciting fight of the night. Fight, this is this is the this My is main the event. starting of the title fights. Justin Gaethje, five rounds versus Max Holloway Ooh. at 155. Max Holloway's only 32. Justin Gaethje's 35. Justin, was his last fight Fazeev? Mm-mm. No, no, that was a long time. Justin was dusted. Head kick. Oh, fucking dog. Beautiful head kick. Beautiful head kick. So he's rolling in there with some serious confidence. If this fight doesn't happen and something happens during fight week, I'm out. I don't even care. Really? You'll step in? That's how much I like this fight. So before that, he fought Rafael Fazeev. Before that, he lost to Charles Oliveira. But still, bro, he's been on a fucking Justin Gaethje. He's a scary motherfucker. This is the first time in a very, very long time where I actually love both guys so much. And you have such two awesome guys of the sport whose careers are both so incredible. They're both so awesome dudes. And I got to watch one of them lose. And, I gotta, and I'm sad to say it because I love Max so much, but I'm, I'm so nervous. I'm nervous. Justin's well, been training with fucking uh, with Corey Sandhagen a lot, sparring, getting ready for Max, which I do think is going to help. I mean, still different different styles, different you know body types, but I feel like that's going to help. I didn't even bit. that. Yeah. But I wonder um, if they have to weigh in at 155 flat or if they get that half pound or that. Uh, yeah, yeah, 56. The only time you have to weigh in on the dot. Oh, because you're saying BMF title. BMF. So yeah, that's, no, that's no, what no. I'm wondering. 56. 56. Because they let, last time they let Justin weigh in at 55 and a half. They let him? Not let him, or I guess up to 56. 56. Bro, the, the BMF title's 
That that doesn't Eight shouldn't mil. count. Okay, cool. no, fifty. I, I would be surprised if they made them weigh in at fifty five. Do they get pay per view? No. These are questions Hell, I've no. got. Okay, zero percent. Max gets hit a lot. I'm very nervous. He's a guy who gets hit a lot. He has never been dropped and stuff. And you got Justin who comes in to kill. He's so wild. So he's. Got, I feel he's, like he's not as wild as he used to be. Well, not nearly. He's yeah, super technical, but, but more, just still. Which makes him way more dangerous. Him versus yeah. Fazeev, he wasn't wild. He was sharp, technical. Him versus Poirier, beautiful technique. I'm like, fuck, that kind of, that Justin, this is a new Justin. This is a dangerous, dangerous, mm. scary Justin. Do we see Max Holloway get put out for the first time? I hope not. I feel like we might. And what's cool about Max, dude, is he's still young. I know he's been in the game for a while, and it's all about how his body's still holding up. But age-wise, he could still go on a good run. And yeah. Be incredible. Do you think he stays at 55, even win or lose? I mean, I know he's been talking about wanting to go to 45, get the 45 strap, but he's putting on muscle to go at 55. It's like you can't really do he, both. What do you want? Bro, he looked so awful every time he'd weigh in. I think 55 is a good weight class. Yeah. Bro, but – I think this fight tells him. I swear, if he were to go out and knock out Justin Gaethje, oh and my have God. A crazy which fight, is possible, yeah, bro, like that would fuel me. But I'm nervous. If he if he knocks him out, is it head kick or is I'm it? So I'm thinking it's his kicks. Justin Gaethje's kicks. Yeah, I'm Dude, scared for Max's boxing. legs more than anything, bro. Max's Max, legs. I remember Max fought Volkanovski fucking three times, and Volk kicked the fuck out of his legs, and it didn't really. I know they're different, but it's, it's like so he's got he's tough. He's so yeah. tough. And I love both these guys. I hate saying it. I even hate saying it. But I got Justin Gaethje. I kind of do too, but I'm also leaning towards like Max goes out there and just puts on a fucking Max Holloway performance like he did against Calvin. What if he just goes out there and boxes the I'm fuck the best out of him? And makes Justin look sloppy. Yeah. If he goes out there and yeah. makes Justin look sloppy, I'd be so excited. I'd be like, That'd be hard shit. though. I'm leaning, I'm leaning towards Gaethje just the way he's been performing the last few fights, but I'm also would not be surprised to see Max go out there and just put on a clinic. Gaethje's got them Trevor Whitman gloves, man. Shit's different. Gaethje did get dropped by Dubronx, too. Did I say the right name? I said the right name. Why did I With that check look? hook. Bink. Sandoval, buddy. Team Sandoval, you fucking idiot. Oh, yeah. sorry, Sandoval. So, yeah, I, could, I it mean, was a joke. Max's okay. striking is, you know, what if he check hooks Justin? And But I see Dude, a head. Max, I see. Ah, Max, when was the last time Max put someone down? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Max puts people down with 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 uh, not really with boom one shot power, but with volume. But he, but he also fought Yair, so I'm like anything that's thrown at him, he's seen the speed. He's gonna see yeah. it. Like, is he really gonna get hurt? But he gets hit whether it's fast or not. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But so I got I got I'm leaning. Yeah. I mean I said it. I I'm gonna I say Max. Justin. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm riding with Max. Decision. I'm gonna say Justin. Decision. We got buddy. Finish official. Uh, Justin Gaethje decision by murder. Ooh, five rounds of. Ooh. All right, we move on to the co-main event: Wei Jing Lei versus Wei Ling J. I'm fucking pumped for this one, boys. Wei Li Zhang <laughs> versus Yan Exxon. You know what? That Yan, yeah, Yan. I was watching the countdown, or, or uh, I think it was the countdown, and it got me kind of excited for this fight. A little China versus China action. A little coronavirus virus. Let's get it. China and China. China versus China. If I, I like had to it. make a guess. I, it's probably gonna go five rounds. At least, not, I feel like Who these knows? girls knock people out. These yeah, girls, dude. this could be a knockout. You think? This I, could be a knockout. If she shocks the world and beats Wei Li, dude, that's going to be crazy. I mean, bro. I wouldn't say it's going to be crazy, but it would be it would be cool. Dude, Wei Li's so tough and good. At, like, I have a feeling Wei Li should win. And she's the more skilled and experienced weathered These fighter. guys are virtually identical. 34, 5'3". Oh. Uh, Jan's 5'4". 115, 63 and three. This is gonna be a copy and paste fight. This brings me back to my original point of who is more butch, and it. Jesus. She, I'm telling you, she's mean when she's out there. Wei Li. Yes, that is a mean bitch. She's so no mean. disrespect. I would loved. be scared. She, and she would fuck. She picked up Shaq, bro. Like that is true. She's strong, technical. And she. It's hard to bet against that Lemo. She fought Lemos on when you uh -huh. smoked Aljo, and I remember seeing her out there just. I felt bad for Oh, Lemos. that's right. She like, was the co-main. That's right. That's right. That's right. Anyone can shock the world, guys. If uh, if there's a shocker to the night, it, I feel like it'd be that one. She lost to Rose Namajunas back-to-back, huh? And then came back, beat Joanna, beat Carla, beat Amanda Lemos. Uh, and that kind of comes back to the same point. Who's more butch? Her or Rose? Rose, buzz cut. Rose looks like a pretty girl. Who's more With hungry long in hair, this yeah, fight? I agree. I think that comes down to no that. I think this Pat. new girl, Jan... <laughs> She's pretty hungry. Yawn? You think she's hungry, huh? I think so. And she's been working with Team Alpha Male. She's 34. Let's see her. They're really Wikipedia pushing her. Yeah, real quick. I want to see who her last fight. 
Her nickname's Nine. That's kind of fire. Uh, beat Jessica Andrade, beat Mackenzie Dern, lost to Marina Rodriguez. Oh, remember? Lost to Carlos Barza. How'd she lose to Carla? Decision point. Carlos? Um, yeah. It's, oh, no. Interesting knockout. fight. Mm-hmm. She lost her by KO. Who? Carlos what if Barza that's KO'd what if her. Just brutal? TKO. Zero. Oh, crucifix. Carla got her in crucifix. God, I, I think Wei Li's going to win. I, I'm going with Wei Li. Same. What if it's just not slug fast? I think it'd be really fun. A little slut fast? Uh, so he got. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. Alex Pajada moving on to the main event. UFC 300. Um, what an event. Cue up the Bruce Buffer. It's time. Yeah. What an event. Jamal Hill coming off nine months out of that surgery. <sighs> Makes me feel better seeing Tim four and a half, half months out do, moving around the way he is. But I'm like, that's only five months difference. And that means he's he had to go through a training camp. I'm I'm nervous for the Achilles, especially with Alex Pajada who, who hits so hard. I'm, mm. I'm kind of thinking... Jamal yeah. goes in there, strikes with him for a little bit, takes him down, and dominates on the ground. And uh, we get a Yuri Jamal Hill submission. Yuri couldn't take him down, though. Dude, they all take him down. But then he gets up, and then he, he takes your shots. You get take him down. He gets back up. He's back in your face. Alex Pereira stays so composed, and I think that's <laughs> going to be one of his things that really helps him in this fight. Yeah. Cause yeah, I think Jamal's Hill would. I think if he sh- he hits hard, right? But I think Prayer hits just as hard. And once they fight, once they find that out, I think Jamal's gonna try and take him down. He'll get him taken down, but Prayer's gonna find that cage, get up. It's gonna be tough. And off that injury, bro. Every time oh, I see Tim injury. roll, it's the injury. Tim's yeah. been doing so well, but you and, uh, like you just. You gotta. Oh God, I get so nervous every time I see Tim hopping around. I know, and I it's on his crazy. It's his right leg. Yep. And That's his power hand. Alex Pereira kicks hard, and he comes in, and he's going to come in right away, and he's going to land a kick. Now, not only are you dealing with that injury and you've been recovering it, but you're fighting a guy who's got a deadly leg kick. And he did beat his uh, mentor, Glover. That so was there, that was a fucking crazy fight, too. Yeah. Yeah. So I there's some f- like beef going into this. Not really, but. I got for, Pereira. Uh, TKO third round. Uh, Pajada TKO third round. Sorry, Jamal. God, you think? What do you think? Jamal bad. didn't have a good camp. What do you think? <sighs> you TBD just, you just, on that one, huh? TBD on that one. I need the rest of the fight week to play out that to is really true. get a good grasp of that. That is true. I have a weird feeling. It's just one of those things where it's like it's you know people's time. Like Jamal's one of those people that shows up. Ever since I watched He's him fight dog. Johnny Walker, true. I think he power. might put Pereira out like badly. Could like, happen. Like, like second like, round. Did? Yeah, like second round after they think. Pereira thinks he's found his range, and then he just blitzes in with that right hand. Could happen. God, or does Alex gangster. go out there and do what he fucking does and this, puts that left hook on oh Jamal God, Hill's lips? Could. This is a scary fight. Jamal's got Both a chin. These dudes. And yeah, it's gonna be. You know what's sweet is you boys are gonna be in Vegas watching it at the. Fuck I don't yeah. know where yet. Probably the Red Tail or wherever. But I can't wait. You, can't wait. Garrett, San, uh, Sono. Unk. Uncle Emron. Uncle Emron. Um, Knox. Gimme. Yeah, no, a couple of our fire. other buddies we've been gaming with are going to pop in. But, that's fire. Uh, so fire. let's finish out this predictions and we'll talk about that. Um, God damn it. I hate fucking picking <laughs> fights. I'm like, Jamal Hill can go out there and fuck. I'm going to go with Jamal Hill, but Alex Mayer is scary and can fucking can do it. But I'm going to go with Jamal. It's Jamal Hill, KO, second round. Alex Pereira's record in the UFC is incredible. Or no, seven uh, four, he's beaten four UFC champions. Crazy. First UFC middleweight and light heavyweight champion. Yo. Double, like you know what I mean? That's crazy. So you uh, Alex. Yeah. I don't mind it. Nightmare. This is a nightmare fight. I don't mind it. I don't. This fight out. haunts my dreams. Mind it. Really? I, I wake up sweating because I wouldn't want to fight either one of these guys. They're both going to stare. Matt, wait till we see that stare down when, when Bruce is. Prayer's just going to be standing there looking at him. Just Jamal statue Hill. looking. I bet Jamal's walking back and forth. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be fun. UFC 300 preview. That's where it's at right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to be there in Vegas. Tim and I are going to the actual fights, the main card anyway. And then after, the boys are getting Historical. together. Zook Oof. in Resorts World. We're fucking partying. We're celebrating the dub I had Four, five, six, whatever the fuck weeks it is. I haven't partied yet. I haven't drank since. I haven't got to celebrate with the fellas. It's time. So we're celebrating the fight. We're going to celebrate UFC 300. It's going to be good. And then it's going to be right back to fucking work. But Zook, it's going to be a good night with the boys. Luda. Luda's performing. 
Um, My, watch out, my outfit's ridiculous. We're going to be shooting a podcast Saturday uh, with Aiden Ross. Mm -hmm. Garrett and Schmidt are going to drive down with the equipment. We're shooting a pod. We fly in from Great Falls to Vegas Saturday morning, and uh, that's going to be a fun trip. Sono and I are leaving Thursday. Yep, Montana. Tim has some soldiers fight. Ezra's pro debut. Tommy's sixth fight, I think it is. For the belt. So I'm so pumped for all these. For the belt. Jojo. Ezra. Jojo's fighting. Uh, David Clay's David. fighting. There's four of them fighting. JJ, our buddy JJ, who, who's really been pretty much Tim's main guy when it comes to coaching. Well, Jakar too. But JJ's been really un learning from un under Tim, you know, how to hold mitts, how to kind of help shadow rounds, how to do this, how to do that. So JJ's becoming a fucking excellent coach. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he's doing his thing. That's going to be fun flying down with the fellas. Never Bro. been to Montana. Ooh. All of these boys work <laughs> so hard. These are like I'm. I work at the the shop. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You see them. They, they are hardworking dudes, and they're so motivated. Yep. I have a feeling it's going to be an easy, clean sweep for the boys. Four and zero. I feel like I that, feel too. that too. Yep. That'll be fucking fun. Yep. Um. Well, the fire part is too. Sean blessed the boys to taking a PJ up there. That is fire. That is gonna like, be fun. Holy shit! I've never experienced that before. We went to Vegas one time, and then Miami. It's like that is a different, it's a different experience. way of flying, brother. Holy shit! It's gonna be fun. It'll be and, and, and just flying into Vegas. We don't have to fucking go to I, yeah layovers and bullshit. Though. That makes me more excited for the trip. I hate airports, bro. They're just gross. <laughs> Remember the fucking Atlanta? layovers on Allegiance, huh? <laughs> Atlanta, you and I go trying Split to fucking up. bro. Oh my god. Ooh, that was a good time. That yeah, fuck, fuck airports. But uh, that'll be nice. We got uh, Schmidt's car. Yes. How uh, you got, your car died the other day. You had to get it towed. Did they come and tow it, and then they tr towed it, and it was closed? No, they took too long, and I had to cancel it. Oh, and then they okay, just okay, showed okay. up. I was like, yeah, sorry, I cancel it. He's like, oh, okay. So it should be done today. Yeah. What do you what do you estimate in the price? Seven hundred. So, huh? How much do you think it's gonna be to fix it? Oh, they told me already. It was seventeen. Like seventeen hundred. <laughs> So what do you do? Take out a loan? Ask mommy. Pray for the Lord, my soul to take. Ask if there's a couple loans that need to be shall I not, Or how? How do we say it? Oh, damn! That's <laughs> so almost crazy. like might as well get a new car type shit. No, so seventeen hundred for no. Now if my transmission had died and it was what like are a they, fourteen uh, grand, and you trust those people, fix. bro. You that's the thing. It's so hard to trust car places. You, it really is. You just pray. You hope not. Because you never know. But did you feel like it was about time? To, you know, well, it's over. Had to have gone wrong. I've had my car for eight years. It just had over a hundred thousand miles. I ran over a coyote. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. What they say was wrong with it? I had a gasket that was damn near broke off, and a valve that was. So the gasket was the one that was helping sp that helps spread oil throughout the car. Uh -huh. That was fucked up. Uh, and then a bolt thing was also out and fucked up. That was what was causing my car to shut off because it was the thing with the air and it needed to be tighter so that the air could get to the engine correctly. Oh, yeah, that part. So that's what was, yeah. I, know I wonder cars. how much of this, though, is like where they're kind of like, okay, here's 100 we can make here. So the you real, just that, never know. The you real really shitter know. was my back rotors and uh Brake pads. God, I know. And too bad you don't have a like I, like my dad's friend Tony that helps me with all Man. my shit. I know he could probably do all of that and save you a thousand bucks. He probably could. Hey man, can I get your number? I Big have Tony's Tony. number if you want it, but he's Stay not. Tony, we fly down. Uh, it's nice now. having mechanic friends. That's why you're lucky you have me. I can do any all that shit. <laughs> that picture you posted, fuck. You want to know? Took something? my caption, but that caption was too easy. <laughs> Char was making fun of me all the time. Jobin's about things. Was well, not. You want to know about signs? So my dad was always about cars, and I was here every time my car was giving me problems, and I knew something was wrong. I could hear my dad and what he would be saying to me all the time. Mm -hmm. My car died on me four times. Finally, on my way home from the gym, and I was in traffic. People behind me. I'm at the stoplights because it would happen when I'm at the stoplight. No way. Yeah, four <laughs> times. I get home. Turn my car off, go inside. Brendan's going to take me to Walmart to do it. My car wouldn't start. I'm like, motherfucker, it died. <laughs> it finally died. Thank God. It died I'm, there. It died there. It wouldn't have been the biggest issue. I'd have, I have roadside assistance and all that stuff, but it would just been, uh, you know what I mean? Pain in the butt. Yeah, pain in the butt. Then sure enough, I asked my mom. I'm like, all right, so because we're trying to figure out when we got the car stuff done. And uh, it was my dad's birthday, 10-2 is when I had done it. Really? Yeah. What year? This past year. Uh, well, yeah, when I came back home and I just forget do you get that the kind oil of stuff. changed in that regular? Oh, no. yeah. Often? I stay up on mine. 
Every three months. But you, there's a lot of things with cars, Jovens, that sucks ass that after certain, like, 70,000 miles, 100,000 miles, oh, you recommend getting this change. Oh, yeah. How about that? So I'm hitting, <laughs> after hitting 100,000, I'm sure my shit's just going to start. When it rains, it pours. When it no fills. exit doors. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Nothing it could always more. be worse. Oh, dude. Could be starving. Could be a prisoner True. of war. Fighting for dude. your life with cancer. I'm could grateful. Be, yeah, could have fucking deadly cancer. Could live in a country where you don't even have fresh water. And you have yeah. to walk a fucking mile. Put a fucking thing of water on your head. Go home and boil it. Could be worse. I'm in the intro of UFC countdown for 300. Life's good, baby. That shit was sick. He was. They interviewed him. Mama, we forever. did it. Are you going to say, like, are you going to sue him? Say, no, Where the fuck's dude. my paycheck? Yeah, I'm signing myself to the devil. Once you get invited. Jesus. Oh, yeah. You would, he, Ill- you would sign with the Illuminati. Once he gets invited Bohemian, to Bohemian Grove, Jobins. What makes you think be, I'd go? Yeah, I know. He's sold you're gonna get, go. It's one of your influence buddies that have told you. Who, like, like who? Slogan, Mike Malak, Aiden Ross, some, maybe Kyle from Nelk, maybe Steve. They say what? Sean, we want you. Please go. Please go. We want you to go. We're bro, they asked me to go to Canada for this, this, this fun, this. happy dad things, and I don't even. Bro, know. what do you think I'd go to the when they when they go? We, you gotta go. Fifty million. When something happens, fifty million, I might pop by. My little spirit. <laughs> I might check it out. <laughs> this guy can't even pick up a dead bird in the backyard that's been there for eight months. Skeletons bro. and shit. Can't even dig it up out of there. No, it is. You're gonna be so scared, and I just want to be there. You're not gonna be there. If I get invited, you're not coming. I know, but I wish I would. Cause I'd be your support. I'd get you. I'd guide I'd you. What if they're like? In. We have to sacrifice your fat friend. Apparently, bro, <laughs> that would there, scare the fuck up. out of me. I'd say, all right. So that movie that just came out, Late Night with the Devil, it's actually based on that shit. The and Bohemian. It, dude, that's Bohemian Late. Grove is real. Okay, Ryan Garcia. It's, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Dude, Schmidt would be no, there, no. being like, "Yo, what, what do I gotta do? There. What do I gotta what do? do? I, who do, do I talk to? Who do I gotta suck? <laughs> who, who, yeah. Should we just literally hop in the Sprinter van and go on a trip and try and get there? And no, see isn't what it happens? an island? I'm good on no, going there. No, it's bro. in a town, bro. It's in a town. Yeah, and you can't. It's so secu- there's so much security. And guess what? The weird thing. There's this new Careful video. That chair, buddy. I can hear. I can hear it creaking from here. Schmitty, I told Schmitty to sit on Elena's fucking chair. He snapped the tooth. Broke it again. Schmidt, take the mouse. Let's talk about that for a second. Bohemian Grove. This video that just came out two weeks ago already has like four million views and shit. On you. The whole he's going around with the, your boy who came in that one time that I wanted to meet. Uh, oh, you're talking about the crazy the guy that's crazy. Who stuff? goes? Yeah. Uh, like the report. Uh, Tommy. Tommy yeah, G. Yeah. Tommy Gun. Uh, or, or maybe Tommy it was G. Tommy G. Maybe it was someone else. I know who you're talking about. Though. I think. Yeah. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. It wasn't Tommy G. That's lies. The uh, Channel Five. Yeah. Anyway, there was another group, another video of people who tried sneaking it in. And they went and they were just interviewing everyone from the town. Bro, and who knows how fake it is. I don't know. You can always ask people to do it. But everyone didn't want to talk about it. Nobody. And they were all like, it seemed real as fuck. So and it's just like, the high power ups that go there and presidents fuck each other. And do we dude, apparently shit? there's rumors that they psych- sacrifice children, babies and burn them. There's like some real, uh, and see, like apparently. Why does it have to be crazy? Why can't they just be like, oh, they have crazy orgies with o- yeah. o- apparently o- overaged, I mean, f- above age fucking people, and they just all fuck each other. It's like cool. Why you gotta bring underage people? Why you gotta kill people? Why does it ha- that? You know shit who I think's be already been there? Who? Logan. You think? I want to talk to him. I was hoping Sh- I'd get to talk to you. About Schmidt, Logan. you go there and they say, hey, we just want to do whatever we want with you for one night, yeah. and you can have whatever you want. Are you saying yes? <sighs> You get dressed Jobin's up. Let as us a, know. Do you do it? Do you no, get dressed you. up as a fucking doll? Do I get enough money to where I can say, pegged. "Hey, mom, retire," and you're gonna have you a house for the rest of your life? You from like four okay. different yeah. presidents: Bush, yeah. uh, Barack, no, no loop. Pagan. I don't know, dude. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. even know anymore. What do presidents. you do, <laughs> Trump? Because I don't think we all understand. And that's I don't. The scary I, I, part. I don't think I can wrap my head around it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Too deep. But there's been something that's been on my mind, boys. Oh God, let him know. And I have to get it off because they've been teasing about it. I showed Sean in confidence. And, then and I, thought, I kept and the then confidence. I thought he wouldn't. He would tell Tim. He didn't. So then I outed it myself. If but, you, uh, if you, one of you boys tell me that you tell me something, you don't want me to say it on the pod. You don't want me to tell Tim. You don't want me to tell Danny. You don't want me to tell people. You don't want me to say anything. I'll, <laughs> I'll keep my promise. I won't say anything. Fucking Sono tells me. Well, we Bro. already knew. You got a girl pregnant. No. No, 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 no. His no. ex-girlfriend. Much, much worse. He found out she had hairy armpits. And she didn't shave her armpits for a few... And he found out pretty early on in the relationship. 
No way. I mean, she posts. Not only does she have everything, but she posts them on TikTok, which I'm not judging. Yeah. And I bet you know. It's, I'm not Here's judging. the thing, boys. You know, you all go through seasons. Sometimes I don't think I'm you going make through mistakes, that season, buddy. but you do go through phases. But all you got to do is keep the arms down in your Gucci. But so anyways, I'm yeah, like, I was damn. About to so say if it. you guys were fucking and you saw it, what would you do? And he said, I'd just pin her arms behind her back. It feels much better now that it's out in the open. Because for a while, I'm like, fuck, this is embarrassing. Why I bring? I this think up. it's fine. Well, hey, some people, some guys don't mind. Probably. Oh, I did. Yeah, some, but some probably don't. Some girls, I personally, I'm like, bitch, if you got hair on them pits. That was a long time ago. So I'm like, you know, maybe I was just dumb wanting to get some Punani Nani. But Ooh, Punani Nani. But like, hey, hair. you came That's out. But then you guys are like, oh, that means her bush isn't shaved either. I'm like, That was Tim. Tim's was. like, damn, so she had hairy pits. That means she had a full-on bush. And you're like, no, no, she kept up with that. There's only no, one she thing did, to this though. argument. What? You, we, I only, I feel bad for girls because I shaving's a lot, and I just can't imagine having to shave everything all the time. For real, I agree. So I get that part, girls. That's but what for she me, said. I don't even like pubic hair. Let, you if see I, you're bald, bro. If I lifted, if I'm having sex with a girl and I lift up her arm and I see armpit hair, literally that would make my stomach turn and I would fucking lose my boner. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, I would, I would, I would, I would be like, like down, part of me would die. Does that make us piece of shit? Like, why know. do we judge girls like that? I don't know. I don't when know. I get it. They would just, judge us if we had a micro peen. And I get it at the end of the day. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, I feel bad for girls too having to fucking take care of that all the time, but. Just wax it. Or yeah. just know if you're going to go hook up with someone, just fucking and, take care of it for the day. Yeah, like, would you get mad at me Yes. if I, I'm like, hey, girl, I really, I don't, I don't, I, I appreciate you being you, but I don't vibe with the pit hair. Can we go shave that I tried quick? that. So you tried You actually her? said that to her. You said, Not I don't. Not in that word. I worded it a little differently. How did you word but it? I Say was it. just like, you know, I don't know if I really can get down with the whole longer hair. Like, maybe trim it up a little bit trim up like, the trim it up a little bit trim it up a little bit oh, little bit oh i it. wouldn't do it you don't make it worse i said hey baby girl lay down for a second and i go pull <laughs> it out from my back pocket <laughs> hey. i mean like slay there baby girl <laughs> i'm glad that's in the past my next no ex more. didn't have any armpit hair we we leveled up boys we're good yeah he sure did speaking of championships <laughs> made that one up uh what kind of belt you got there is that a Buddy. fantasy football world title this is 12 works of hard 12 uh, works of hard weeks <laughs> hold up 12 weeks of hard work, boys. Fantasy football. Anybody out there that does fantasy football knows the type of dedication this takes. This really? is harder than, like, getting pussy. Really? To a certain extent, yes. So uh, did, Bro, did that group of people you played with, were they just stupid? How did you win? $1,400 league. I started off, like, 2-6. and six. Really? And we, yeah, 2-6. and six. But Lamar Jackson, I need to still order your jersey with the winnings, but... Damn, bro! He, he, clutched up. he dropped fifty points in the championship game. Yeah, I remember game. he was going crazy. Like, and I've never won before, and this is like my fourth or fifth year doing it. So it felt good. But you might do it this next year. You I said might, you've been thinking. I might give me give me LJ for the quarterback. I feel like he's was he the top fantasy scorer of quarterbacks. Yeah. Oh yeah, like the way he runs the ball, scores rushing touchdowns, throw he throws a lot. Like the motherfuckers are probably. Him and Patty Holmes are probably the best guys to get for quarterbacks. Hey, well, it'd be him because he's running. Pat doesn't run as much, but he throws it so yeah. fucking much. But you know one thing I haven't got to do in this belt huh. that I want to do? Stash. Yeah. Damn. A girl would probably be like, what the fuck are you doing? No. Oh, well, to they, her, I'm telling her this is the Bellator championship. Oh, okay. they stuff. No, okay. jokes, jokes. Would jokes. they understand that? How how hard work that is? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think they'd really appreciate it. Like, <laughs> You're just wearing it. Fuck, it's a red. The nights you stay up looking at the waiver wires, you know uh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the hard work, the dedication. I mean, you I saw every it. week I'd come and either pissed or happy that my team won in the playoffs. Yeah. I was fucking I w ecstatic. We should do one, me, you, Daniel, just like a good group of guys. Schmitty doesn't know how to spell football, so we probably won't use him. Yeah, and well, we could loan you a couple bucks for the buy-in, too. Yeah, true. <laughs> After buy watching all your guys' shitty picks, I'm like, damn, I could watch football for two weeks and probably make better picks. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck uh, up. That's fair. That's fair. Um, that's fair. That's fair. What else we got going on the rest what's of the day? Are you going to go have to go get your car or are they not going to give it to you until you yeah. pay for it? Or what's the idea with that? Schmitty's hiking for here on out, Jobins. If you see me on the side, please help a brother out. <laughs> really? Yep. Right. Dude, one thing I'm also <laughs> thinking, I can't stop bumping Mexican OT, Oh, God, that Mexican bro. OT out of Texas. Every other line, there is a Texas bar, but yeah. I'll tell you, that shit is hard. hard. <laughs> I can't even I, do it. Louis Vuitton, I'm mm -hmm. when I walk, I got really a check yeah. it out, with a cat to the cane. Huh? I really wish you would listen to me sometimes with guests, and I really think you I don't. know you want me to get fucking kosher on. It's too late now, bud. He's in another state. Yeah. It's but. just hard for me. Like, if it was, 
I just never really listened to his stuff too much. So it'd be hard for me to I have know. him on just to have him on as a guest just because it'll just, do good. There's I wanna... just been so many people so many times where I'm like, hey, I feel like you guys should do this person. And you don't. And then I see him do a great pod on someone else's. And I'm like, damn. Yeah. I yeah. just want to see you do a pod with them. Yeah. There's so many cool guests you could do. You I have know. the power. Did you message them on your Instagram too? Did you? Oh, wait. You already yeah. talked to Kosher, right? Never no, mind. you did. Oh, yeah, I did. I talked to him. That's why I was like, dude, he's coming through. It would have been such. Does he still release music, Schmitty, or no? Oh, dude, he's been releasing some bangers again. He's back. I can't. What wait. happened? It took a little hiatus. I no, I think he's always been grinding, but he was doing more stuff with other people. Oh, uh, okay. And he's been doing his mm. tour now. Louis Vuitton umbrella when I walk through the rain. Mm. Ah, dude, imagine OT dropping fine. sugar bar. I know. Imagine you having him on the pod. Why don't you get him on the pod? You like him so much. Yeah. Shit, we didn't even talk about it, but last night Sean let uh, me and Mikey go to. Um, the Final Four championship March game, tickets. March Madness. Oh, Holy shit. Was it sick? Dude, at first Electric. the game, yeah, it was like loud. We were in all UConn uh -huh. like, section, so anytime they do something, they'd be like, UConn, 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 Husky! And it, like the Huskies Ooh. would be like, it would pierce. Like, Damn, you know I mean? was there any hotties or not really? Most See, there was guys. a couple couple, couple baddies, but they were with big dudes, so I was like, fuck. Yeah, I could but, that out. What about the cheerleaders? Bad. That that is my weakness. Once when, when a girl a group of girls are dancing, cheerleading together, bro, I fucking start barking. I drool a little bit. I just turn into a fucking pit bull. At halftime, you know who showed up too? It was funny. There was a couple extra seats next to us. Clark, his Shut grandpa up. was getting inducted in some Hall of Fame thing what? there, and Random he pulled up fuck. to the side. I was like, "What's up, Clark?" Yeah, That's funny. it was cool. You know who else would be an incredible podcast? I think would be kind of you, you change his life. Ooh. Jelly Roll. Jelly he roll, yeah. he loves you. He was you. in Texas when we were. Yeah. Yeah, he loves you. He's a big fan of you. He's oh such God. a cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get this. All right, boys, let's let's inspect yeah. We're but gonna end this pod then right now. I yep. feel like you can we change life. Back. Yep. This was Jelly a fire roll, pod. pod. Peace, boys. Remember. Jelly roll. Hard boys, work. that was a crazy pod. Uh, I gotta go do this inspection for this building episode. I don't even know. We're just fucking around. Sorry, UFC shit was 300 preview. Shit was fire. Peace out. Hope you guys have a great day. Deuces.